All right, we're live. Welcome, everybody. I am here with my mom, Nina, and my aunt, Rahinda. And we are going to look over. My mom's going to do a nice little cooking demo. She's in her chef jacket. And we're going to go over. <laughs> I love it. My mom's going to do the cooking demo. She's going to show some things from my plant based vegan Lebanese ebook. And this right here, you can get in the ultimate vegan bundle that's on sale until 12. No, 11.59 Pacific Standard Time. All right, so waiting, well, nobody's logged in yet, but that's okay, we'll still do our thing. We got some people on Instagram. Oh, I see you, Auntie, you're on Instagram. You're watching us on Instagram. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I see you. Okay, cool, so, all right. Um, so, Mom, welcome. What do you got cooking over there? What do you have, Mom? I'm going to make the hashware that you can put on top of hummus, rice, uh, roasted eggplants, any kind of dish that you have. You can put it as a side dish or top it with anything, and it's delicious. Oil-free, dairy-free, no meat, vegan, totally all yummy and good. So hope you like it. Let's start. I'm going to start with chopping uh, about one medium onion i need half a cup of medium onion or medium onion i dice it fine i'm gonna start doing it uh while i'm talking i'm just gonna put it on the stove and let let it brown a little bit no I'm oil gonna, nothing i want to interject for a second mom before sure. you keep going on that um just so you guys know and then i'm gonna zoom into your camera page mom but just so you guys know, the hashway that she's making, if you look in the top left corner of that advertisement right there, if you look in that top left corner of the advertisement, um, that's what's on top of the hummus right there. So the hashway that she's saying, you can make it and you can put it on top of really any type of topper. And this will be cooking in my live course that you'll get admission to when once you buy the bundle. And I just got a comment here. I'm going to say, read the comments. Awesome. Someone said, yay, mom and aunt in the house. And then uh, another comment we have is, waited all day for this. So awesome. Thank you guys for coming and watching. All right. I'm going to zoom into what, what my mom's doing. Oh, I kicked her out. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm doing this on my phone and I accidentally kicked her out. Let me put her back on. Okay, she's back. So Can I'm going to put my table. Yeah, you are on full screen. You're <laughs> you're on the table. So show us what you got going on and I'm going to shut my mouth and now it's on you, mom. This is a medium onion that I chopped. I'm just going to put a half a cup. Let's measure half a cup. Medium onion. I mean, and I'm just going to put it in the pot. Let it sizzle a little bit. I'm not going to use the whole thing because I'm going by measuring. So I'll put those on the side. That's nice of you, Mom, to follow my measurements. <laughs> just going to cook them a little bit. If you want to speed it up, you can add a little, probably a teaspoon of water to speed up the cooking. If you wanted to put it on slow, you can just put it on low to cook a little bit. You cook it with no oil, right? No oil at all. Yeah. So I'm just going to let them brown a little bit. Sorry, skin fell in it. And uh, after they cook a little, while I'm waiting on it to cook, I'm just going to take half a cup of walnuts. Just going to put them here. And you can use any nuts for this hashway. So if you don't like walnuts, I've done it before with pistachios and almonds, like a mixed nut. You can use whatever type of nut you want, and it works well. So your choice. 
And this is what helps to replace the meat. It gives it some nice substance, texture for on top of the hummus. It will taste so delicious. I have uh, walnuts. I also have almond. Um, I can use either or, or I can use both. I'm just gonna use the walnut for now because I'm gonna top the hashway after I'm done with some toasted almond. That's why I'm not putting right now in it the almond. So basically I'm using both. Uh, you can put those in a food processor. Um, I like to chop things by hand. I don't know why, but I'm good with the knife, I guess. <laughs> like, well, you could be a little more, you are definitely good with the knife. That's where I learned, you know, all of my skill here, really. Learned how not to be afraid to, you know, move forward, just chop, just play in the kitchen. So you're definitely good with the knife. And and this is a great view of your cutting board. I don't know where your phone is, but that's, <laughs> but you sure did a good job. We can see very good. I just chopped the, the, uh, the walnut. I'm just going to put them on the side till they're ready to mix together. Uh, here's my onions. They're cooking. I'm just going to... Beautiful. Make sure they're good and soft. Then All right, we... I have the mushroom already washed and ready to go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to chop them as well. This is Beautiful. portabella mushroom. So you guys, I'm trying to get my mom to, and actually it's actually not that hard. She said she would do it, but <laughs> I'm trying to get my mom to come to do the cooking course with me. So when you buy the plant-based, um, the vegan health bundle, you'll get access to my live cooking course. And the link for the vegan bundle is tinyurl.com slash vegan health bundle. And it's over at midnight. So get the bundle. And my mom said that she would be here to cook along with me. So it's going to be a dynamic duo. Both of us will be tearing it up in the kitchen. Um, she's born and raised in Lebanon. Awesome with the knife. We have a question in the chat here. How do you spell the name of the dish your mom is making? So this dish is called Hashwe, H-A-S-H-W-I, Hashwe. And it's usually a meat-based dish with um, nuts, set Lebanese seven spice, and you can see it in the top left corner. It's on top of the hummus. It's usually made with like a, a lamb base or whatever meat of choice. And the way that I've replicated it is through mushrooms. As you guys see, my mom did with the mushrooms. We have mushrooms, lentils, and nuts of choice. It's looking awesome, mom. So we need about a cup of mushroom. That should be uh, almost a cup. You can put those in a food processor along with the walnut and chop them instead. Like I said, I like to chop by hand. And now I already have the lentil. Lentil is already boiled. I have a half a cup of lentil. I put one cup of water, let them boil to cook. And now look how they became. I already cooked them. So I'm going to put one cup of cooked lentil. But after I'm done with the mushroom, I think the mushroom, we are good on that. That's about a cup. Let's see. DJ says it sounds delicious. It's almost a cup. Let me put one more mushroom. That should be a good cup. I want to thank you both, Mom and Auntie, for... Um, coming on this with me because it's one it's awesome because I have learned so much about the Lebanese culture just from being with you guys oh someone we have some things in the comments it says from Siham she says yay Nina uh, so that, <laughs> that's my other aunt we got a party here yeah and, and then Debbie Joe is saying can't wait to watch this 
All right, let's okay. see. We have a good cup of mushroom. Now the onion is already cooked. I'm gonna add the mushroom to it. It seems like so delicious, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make it. <laughs> it's so delicious. Instead of meat on top, you put this one. Oh my God, it's so good. And, and the same spices. Yeah, it's very healthy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Let's see. It's um, Melanie asks, how long did your, it says meeting, but I'm guessing it means mom. How long did your mom cook the lentils? They are still nice and firm looking. How long did you cook the lentils, Miss Nina? About, about 15 minutes, not long. Uh, I mean, how I test it. I mean, I touch one of those I, and break it with my hand. If it breaks, that means it's ready, fully cooked. And they look fully cooked. You don't want them to overcook because if you go overcook them, they smush, they will become like smushy. So I'm gonna also say, um, if you like them smushy, then you could let them be smushy. You could also let them be firm. Let's see. All right, let me okay, go. I'm, look, I'm looking for my half a cup measure. I don't want to. Okay, so I have a half a cup of lentil that I'm going to add to the mushroom and onions. Basically, you can add them the way you want it. It doesn't matter the order to me. So I'm going to add them to the pot. And we have also a quarter cup of nuts. Not sure, whatever. Okay, a little more. So Wait. we have quarter cup of nuts. So you mix them all up. And you keep them on very low heat. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Salt is base to taste. I don't measure salt, you know. You need about <laughs> half a teaspoon of salt. Usually I don't measure because I'm used to how much I need to put. But half a teaspoon of salt you can put on that amount. And do you and put also, salt and pepper? I have uh, I have the seven spice that it's from my other sister that lives in Lebanon. She sent me those all the time. Uh, you can find them at any Arabic stores or any any place. It's called the Seven Spice. Um, so what I do, I'm going to put half a teaspoon. Uh, a little more if you like it extra seasoned. I love it. So that spice is from my Auntie Maro. She lives in Lebanon. So these are the three sisters. Um, so it is pretty much ready. I'm going to put, put a couple more minutes on the stove just to make sure all blended and the taste is fully tasty. And it will be ready to eat. I'm not sure if you can see my pan. Um, a little bit more scooted, a little bit over. We can see it half. Beautiful. Now we'll okay. see it full. So you cook it a little bit. We have a couple questions I'm going to um, say that are in the chat okay. on Instagram. So one first thing is a comment. Someone said, um, I am sitting here now with my 92-year-old Lebanese mother-in-law. I just married her son, and so I am ready to learn. But I am vegan, so thank you. I am so happy because, like, if, if and when you buy this bundle, this ebook um, that I've written has the basic traditional Lebanese recipes and they taste so similar to the meat based recipes that your 92 year old Lebanese mother-in-law probably won't know the difference. I love it. And then another question in here, which recipe are you making right now? I got in a few minutes late. We're making hashwe, which is a, usually it's a meat mixture with um, Lebanese seven spice. 
and nuts and you put it on top of hummus or um, you put it on top of, but you can put it on top of a lot of stuff. Um, in Arabic, tell me if this is right or wrong, but it's called baharat. Is that how you say it? The seven spice, sabah baharat. Sabah, that means seven. Sabah baharat. Baharat, that means uh, spice. spice. And, and inside of it is usually a mixture of um, allspice, black pepper, cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, fenugreek, ginger. Does that sound right, Mom? That's what the internet told me. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about the ginger part. I think there's cumin a little bit, cinnamon, black pepper, white pepper. Oh, uh, yeah. Those, coriander, cumin. Coriander, cumin, stuff like those. Uh, even if you go to any uh, Arabic store or Mediterranean store, you anywhere can you can spice. find, you can find those spice. They are called the seven spice. So anywhere, you can, even you can go find. online, you can find them. That's not hard to find. And if you cannot find them, you can put a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of cumin i mean a little bit of each then you can make, make your own it's the same you you can also message me directly um uh, my email is rachel at racheldetroitcoaching.com and you can ask me and i'll send you some links and some information of where where to get this um all right someone said i bought the bundle can't wait yep i bought it can't wait love it make sure when you buy the bundle um, you, you go to my plant-based Lebanese ebook and you scroll down, there's a special link so you can sign up for the course that's next Saturday. It's looking good. Auntie, what do you think about what she's doing over there? Oh, it looks so delicious. <laughs> now, now guess I what? love it. Like it's so good, but I can I'm use, I like to spray. use uh, black pepper more than seven spicy, but. Oh, how come? Uh, I don't know. I like it. I like black pepper only, but you can use whatever, like it's up to you in this one, but it will taste good too. I like that because that shows for people, like you don't have to only use the no. spice, just like my aunt said. Yeah. True. Yeah, you can use the black pepper. You don't, yes, you can use black pepper only. And it will uh, taste so good too. <laughs> Delicious. These things, it's up to the person what kind of spice they like. If they like it with black pepper or seven spice or any kind of spice, they can add their own. But that's a great idea, sister. Okay, guess what? I have prepared also some hummus. Okay, let me show you. I'm going to go directly to whatever my counter is. Let me know if you can see. I have some hummus. Oh, my mom did it up for us to show us. I love it. This is the culture. This is my whole life. She's always doing it up. Okay, you know what, have... Nina? I'm coming. Me too. Yeah, I'm waiting for you, ladies. You're welcome anytime. So I have the hummus right here. Hummus is, uh, Rachel also mentioned that in her book. It's very easy to make. Chickpeas, sesame paste, lemon juice. Uh, salt, piece of garlic, and that's basically it. And just follow the direction that Rachel put. Uh, this is uh, roasted eggplant, same similar to making hummus, but we switch the chickpeas with roasted eggplants. We go, we call it baba ganoush. And I have some veggies that goes along with it. Wow, beautiful display, mom. Okay, very I'm nice. Gonna, I'm gonna try to show you what i'm gonna do hopefully it will work i'm trying to can you see this um, uh, i'm sorry we got some comments we got, we got a couple comments i'm gonna read um maria my cousin maria auntie's daughter she says hi and then uh, so hi maria <laughs> and then we have another one a comment saying i'm coming too so so this is looking good we got some more comments that say very beautiful display and another comment says didn't did we lose my mom where'd she go i'm here can you see oh. my 
screen? No, we can't see you. No, it's black. I just got nervous. No, we can't see you. I'm sorry. I'm, uh, trying put, I'm trying to put my display so you can see everything. Can you see now? Yep. Oh, we got comments. Love Auntie Nina's food. And then very beautiful display. Can you see yep. now? Yes. We see it. Okay. Not everything, you, but yeah. If you're just coming on, we're making hashwe, which is a recipe in my Lebanese ebook um, right here, plant-based vegan Lebanese, super simple vegan Lebanese. It's in the ultimate, it's actually not called the ultimate bundle, it's called the vegan health bundle. And so if you want this ebook and it comes with, uh, I've written six other ebooks, super simple desserts, super simple vegan, super simple Lebanese, super simple fast food, super simple breakfast, super simple raw. And if you want this group, of six ebooks plus my live cooking course that my mom said that she would come cook with me at. Buy this bundle, the links in my bio, the links in the description. The sale ends today at 11.59 Pacific Standard Time. Then I'm gonna sell the course for 50 bucks, which is $1 more than the entire bundle. So get the bundle. All right, show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, can you see? This is my hummus. We gotta start with the hummus decorating. Can you see it good? Looking good. I got all my cousins on here. I see them logging on. We got Joe. We got James logged in. I saw Jad logged in. We, it's just like a whole family. Maria logged in. I saw Lilo log in. This is nice. <laughs> okay, I have I have the hummus. Tanya just joined. That's my other aunt. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put the the hashway on it. Beautiful. Okay. I already roasted some chopped almond. I Wonderful. Just, you can put them in a air fryer. You can put them on top of the pan. No oil, nothing, just to make them rosy. And then you decorate it a little bit on top. And then you can put a little bit of parsley. If you like some onions, I have the onions here. I have some rel radishes, some cucumbers, and this is beautiful, ready to eat. This is the first plate. Wow, that looks phenomenal. Oh, wow. So, oh my God, so good. And and wow. at, the end, at the end, I'm gonna we gotta try it together. I have the pita bread ready here, cut up. Who's gonna but, try it for us? Tell us. Uh, <laughs> George is here waiting for me to finish, and then he will try. That's you're my lucky, dad. George. George, you're lucky. <laughs> also, I have I have the uh, eggplant, roasted eggplant, which I call baba ganoush. That's what we call it in Lebanon. Also, gotta put on it the hashway. Very nice. Very we got a concept. A little bit of parsley. Oops, I put the parsley before the walnut, the almond, but you can do that as well, whichever you decorate. Beautiful display, mom. That looks fantastic. And then also some cucumbers, some radishes, and you can eat those. Oh. It's really delicious. That looks wonderful. What a great decorating technique. You just, a couple there slices. And uh, it's ready to eat. Ready to eat. I hear dad in the background. He's going to give it a taste. And here's the pita bread. I cut them small. So if uh, people wanted to try. So those are the two dishes. And uh, I'm going to show you George. He's going to try. I hope you like my display. Here's George. Hi, Dad. Hi, George. Hi, George. You're going to try it for us and let us know. Tell everybody okay. what you think. Which this is my dad. The hummus or the oh. <laughs> well, try the hummus first. Let us know how the hummus is. And there's no meat on the hashwe. Usually it's meat. All right, let us know. And my dad's born in Lebanon too, born and raised on Lebanese food with my mom, the chef. 
Let's see how he likes it. And this is my vegan recipe. Mmm. So delicious. <laughs> you like so it? So delicious. <laughs> thank you. I'm going to eat that stuff. I love it. Oh, thank you. Love it. Thank you. He's every bite of it. He, he, he messed up my decorated plate, but. <laughs> Okay, so he likes the hummus and hashwe. Dad, do you want to try the the okay. baba ghanoush? Let us know. Okay. What do you think? Okay. Here's the baba ghanoush. I'll make sure I don't make big mash. No, no, you eat it. It's for to eat. Oh, good bite. So delicious. So delicious. <laughs> you you the like hashwe. that? You like the hashwe? I love the hashwe. Oh, wow. So delicious. Even though it's not meat, do you still yeah, like it? It's delicious. Oh. Uh, you know what, Rachel? I think it tastes better than meat. The hashway. Uh, veggie hashway. Thank you. Mom, you did such a good job on the, the cooking and the display. Let me put us all three. I'm going to read some comments here. I'm doing this on my phone. That's an all-day thing. It's like an all-day learning experience okay now we're I'm back gonna, on i'm gonna try myself this is a good bite with the radish yeah what do you think okay. send us some you like it with the radish it's delicious i mean if you're not eating bread if a person don't you eat can, bread, you can eat it with the vegetable yeah yeah that's true i'm gonna read some comments okay um someone said this is why i bought the bundle the moment I heard you had a cooking class to go with the, along with the Lebanese book, I couldn't resist. So there is a cooking course, and it's gonna. Me and my mom are gonna tag team it. So, so we both have our chef's coat. She's wearing hers today. We're gonna tag team it, and when you buy the bundle, the vegan bundle, um, you'll get access to my live Lebanese cooking course. It's gonna be so fun. Maybe my dad will come. We never know who's gonna show up. And then another comment says, Rachel, are your recipes simple to make? I'm, I think it means you, your recipes are simple to make. I'm going to take it as that. And if it's a question, yes, they are. <laughs> buy the bundle if you didn't already buy it. Just Rachel's eBooks and her cooking class make it totally worth it. Don't miss the bundle. And if you want the link, it's tinyurl slash vegan health bundle. <laughs> It's in the comments. It's in my bio on Instagram. And all right, here's another question. You guys ready for the question? I'm ready. It yes. Says, Any chance mama has a pickled onion recipe? Uh, I have a pickled onion recipe. I never pickled made a, a pickled onion. I think same, like you can make it same. But you buy the small onion like this and make it same like uh, the cucumber or uh, I think so. You can make it like this. What would you do? Take like cucumber and uh, I never did. I never made it, but I think it will taste good. Same like cucumber or... Uh, uh, yeah, same technique as yeah. pickling a cucumber. That's what I would think, too. That's a good idea. Mom, what are you showing? Or us? turnip, like how to make turnip, too. That's the pickled turnip that my sister is talking about. I think I, I never think it's the same onion. thing because it's like pickle. I think so, too. If she wants a recipe, we can send, it, uh, send her one. And there is a, there's a, um, Melanie, there's a recipe in the Lebanese ebook for pickled turnips, which you, you could use it for the onions, but the onion. you probably could use any pickle recipe for the onions too. I guess we're not well versed in onions here. So let's see, and we got another onion with cucumber and turnip and cauliflower, mix it like. Vegetable. Oh, I love the cauliflower. It will uh, taste good. Oh, I make it sometimes with the turnip. Cauliflower yep. with turnip. Oh, yeah. It tastes so good. Pickle. Yes. The, the, the recipe that you have, Rachel, for the turnip that you have in your book. Same one. Uh, you can use it for any kind of veggies that you wanted to pickle. 
I don't see the onion as different. I never tried the onions, but I think it's the same concept. You can make one like with onion, turnip, cauliflower, carrot. It will taste good too. I can't stop eating those. <laughs> that sounds so good. <laughs> They're sitting in front of me and I don't, I want to eat them. Another comment says, this is from Andrea. She says, too delicious, says George. Love him and Nina. This is my childhood best friend. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for the comment. Another comment says, um, the turnips too. Yes, perfect. And then we have a question here in the chat. I'm going to ask you that. Another one says, I've seen chefs cook and do a quick pickle on their onions while they cook. Almost sounds like onions take on flavor quickly. All right, and here's a question for you two, um, Lebanese ladies. It is my husband. Oh, no, that's not the question. What is snubar or snubra? S-N-U-B-R-A. -S -S my husband says he wants some of whatever that is. Snubra. Snubar. Fine. Pine nuts. Pine nuts. Oh, pine nuts. Snubar. Oh, wait, that's Arabic. Oh, yeah. It's so delicious <laughs> if you put it on top of uh, what your mom made, too. It's so delicious, too. Instead of, or you can put the uh, roasted. almond or, yeah. Snubar is so delicious. It tastes better. Yeah, snubar are pine nuts. You can and buy they're it from anywhere. <laughs> They're expensive nowadays. I know, but it is yeah. okay. <laughs> that, that's why a lot of people they substitute the snowbar, the pine nuts. With with pine nuts, nuts yes. Another comment that we have is this is a TV show the people need. Oh, so maybe we need a TV show with Kilna Nahna, three of us. Oh. <laughs> and then <laughs> why no? my aunt is very 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 good at desserts oh. very, my my mom's good at the food well the dessert's still a food but my aunt is she is very 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 good at the dessert what's your favorite what? dessert to make auntie in lebanese dessert i like to make ashta eh? when you make ashta you can make ataif with it you can make asmaliye you can make uh, Aisha uh, Saraya, you can make uh, lots of things with Ashta. And Ashta, there is no. one Layali Lebanon, it's so delicious too. I make it so delicious. What, what egg, is Ashta for the people who they don't know what Ashta, uh, Ashta, Ashta is? Ashta, uh, if vegan, you can use uh, almond milk, let's say, or whatever milk, but not milk, like not milk. <laughs> 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 like vegan milk, okay? Yeah. Um, you put uh, uh, cornstarch and I make my own cheese but if you don't want to put it you can't like uh, you don't have to put cheese if it's so we'll, we'll make it we'll veganize it Ve I'll make it I'll <laughs> veganize it but tell us even I using can... animal products what it would be what is it with just say explain it with animal products with regular oh, so what i uh, yeah yeah okay. just regular what you put so i make my own cheese i put it on top of uh, milk and uh corn flour and then i put rose water uh, a little bit at the end when i'm done and uh, sometimes i use a uh, little ashta small one like I buy it and put it to taste different. And sometimes I use the cream. Heavy cream. Heavy cream. Yeah, it's so good with it too. So so, so I mix like whatever. <laughs> so ashtar, ashtar, ashtar is like basically like a cheesy, creamy, yeah. uh, sweet, delicious dessert. And and you can put it on top of so many and, things. So many things. Like you can make uh, atayif. It tastes so good with this ashta. Shuyana atayif. Uh, bread. Bro like uh, Just very similar to pancake. Yeah. yeah. Pancake bread. The circle one. And she stuff it with the ashta. Yes. And you put uh, pistachio. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so good too. <laughs> there is a ve- vegan ataif that she's talking about. And yeah, I can make it like vegan. It. You don't yeah, ataif. We can make it like vegan. You don't have to put milk or uh, no. Just you flour, guys, water, and uh, yeast. Nuts. Do you guys think that I need to do a Lebanese vegan dessert course oh. with my aunt? You guys, would. would you guys come to that? <laughs> we will. <laughs> <laughs> Even I can make a swoof, like it's like cake, but with crush, no oil, no milk. We can make it like this with like flour. Um, crush, our- I make it with crush. It tastes so good. This is from my mom. I took this sarasabi from my mom. Also, she so, can use orange juice if you don't want to use crush. Yeah, but crush tastes better and <laughs> they get fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> and give nice color. Yeah. You, see, you can put this or this. Like, it doesn't matter. Yeah. We got a couple comments. I'm going to read them. Siham says, TV show with my favorite girls. Love it. And love you, ladies. Love it. Thank you. And then Kathy says, I vote for a TV show. I don't know, ladies. We might have to do a TV show. Or maybe I have you on mine. Mark says, let me put my orange down. I'm a certified holistic health coach. And this bundle with all the chefs, cooks, and nutrition info in courses is a steal for the price. Thank you, Mark. Get the get the bundle. The links in the show notes. The links in my bio. Um, it's scrolling at the bottom. www.tinyurl.com/slash/vegan-health-bundle. It ends at midnight. Let's see what else we got. Kathy says, Rachel, cracking up how you started the orange. <laughs> I bit in. I bit into it and peeled it. And then Debbie says yes for the dessert cooking course. And and then Melanie says, absolutely, make all the desserts. We can make so many, like a lot. <laughs> Instead of milk, we can uh, use almond milk or cashew milk, almond cashew milk. milk, any other like milk. And I think instead of the crush, let me not choke on the orange here. I think instead of the crush, we could use. Uh, sparkling water so it has the carbonation mixed with orange juice so you so can... it's, it's less sugar less processed more healthy because that's what we're about here we're about healthy and if you put the crush you don't have to add sugar because it's already like sweet this is how i would do it i would use sparkling water I would use yeah. orange juice, and then if I want it to be a little sweeter, I would put some date syrup to make or it honey. more sugary. Oh, yeah. Or honey. Well, the vegans, we don't use honey, Mom. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's okay, Mom. You're learning. This has been super fun. Um, let's see. I'm going to show you guys a couple. Oh, let's see. We had another comment. Gail, I think this is your cousin. Gail Muachil Garib. No, Gail Michael. Yeah. Hi, Gail. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Great chefs. You can come to my house and cook for me. We're on the way, Gail. I love it. We've had such a nice little family affair. Um, all right. So I'm going to show you guys a couple more things. In this vegan Lebanese book, I have the best falafel recipe, falafel. It's baked, tons of herbs in it, no oil. You can freeze it. I also made kefta. So kefta is usually with meat. And the kefta I made was is with lentils. It's so, so good. Another recipe is above, if you look above um, my head, the cabbage thing. It's called salata malfouf, which means salad, cabbage, cabbage salad. That's a super delicious recipe. Um, um, above my head to the right, it's called mjadara, and that is lentils. And then there's a delicious onion topper that I put on 
on top. What's your guys' favorite from here? Oh, the time on this flyer is wrong. It's 3 p.m. Eastern time. Eh, I'm not perfect. That's okay. I'll tell them my publicist. I'm the publicist, just so you know. Um, what's your guys' favorite dish on this on this flyer? Me? Mm. Falafel. And the salad, like, uh, salad is good to almost at all. <laughs> <laughs> you can, like, all are, oh, wow, so delicious. We made one time, me and Rachel, falafel waffle, and it was a big hit. Oh, wow. Her friends, oh, my goodness. I still have the pictures and people, they were, whoa. But it's very, it's the same uh, recipe that she used in that book. But uh, we cook it in a waffle machine. No oil, no nothing. And it was really crispy and delicious. Falafel waffle. I remember doing that. We just put it inside the waffle maker. And we used um, the tahini on top. I mean, I remember doing that. My mom is my homie with all of this. She came. We were selling these falafel. I'm like, hey, mom, I have a gig at a coffee shop where... Rachel Detroit coaching we can sell falafel <laughs> she said I'm in and we were at the coffee shop and man we we sold lots of falafel uh, someone in the comments said what time is it for your mom and auntie this was so nice that they joined you here tonight this was very special um, they're in the same time zone as me so it's about what time is it I'm in Michigan 642 6.42. I'm in Mississauga, Canada. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all we're all in the same time zone. Um, someone says, "Oh my gosh, falafel waffle." All right. So I'll kind of wrap us back around. Do you guys have anything else you want to share, ladies? Mm. No, you cook great, Rachel. Good oh, cookbook. you can make make uh, uh, fruits. And put the ashta on top too. It's so oh. delicious. <laughs> I love that. This, oh yeah, so good, so delicious with the fruit and a little bit of syrup on top. Or she so makes delicious with the rose water. Yeah, I you think, can put the yeah. I think we're gonna need a dessert class with you, Angie. Yeah, she we makes can make dessert. There lots of uh, dessert. <laughs> yeah, a dessert class. We'll do it just like this on the camera, and you can do it in your house, or yeah, maybe you can make it like in front of you. Yes, we have I to can. do a dessert cat class. I love it. Let's see. All right. Um. So this is the last day for the vegan health bundle. This has been super fun going on live and cooking every single day. I'm tired. I will be on, like I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm exhausted, but it has been so fun. I've gotten to meet so many people. I've gotten to be on so many different shows. I love um, ending the week with my aunt and my mom, my family. I'm so grateful that you two came on here with me. This has been super fun. If you're looking to thank buy you. the bundle, thank you. If you want me to show you, like I just made couple hours ago a little bit like ashta with like asmali if you like i can show you a small plate you guys want to see her ashta let's see it let's see it so if you're looking for the bundle if you're if you're on the fence about getting the bundle it's worth it to get my my cooking course because the bundle is 49 dollars, and then i'm gonna sell the course for 50 dollars and tomorrow so it's a really good deal to get it within the bundle and you get my six ebooks with it. I just feel like I need to shake my kiwi at you guys. <laughs> get the bundle. So my aunt went to go grab her ashtar. Mom, what are you what are you up to over there? I'm just keep eating. I can't stop eating. <laughs> you look super cute in your in your shirt and your your cooking shirt. Got some comments. This has been great. I'm looking forward to the class next week. Mom, you got to come to the class because people will be waiting for you now. I told them you were coming. <laughs> Sorry, Rachel. I ate all. <laughs> <laughs> so nobody next gets time, to see <laughs> All right. Make, uh, some dessert. No problem. Perfect. Okay. 
Must well, be that's... so they ate it all. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. Next time, no problem. All right. Well, that's a wrap. So, I am a life coach. If you're looking for coaching, I'm looking for you. Go to my website. Fill out a form for a free consultation. We'll see if we're a good fit and if we can work together. Um, and if you haven't bought the Ultimate Vegan Health Bundle, get it now because the sale ends at midnight. And I want to thank you both, Mom and Auntie. Thank you both thank so you much. Rachel, and good luck. For joining me. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm going to end the live. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.